Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through history of information security guys. So basically information security has been started from way long ago, but we will be starting from computers guys. So whenever the computers have been started, how researches are being done and all those things we will be discussing some basics only. Because even for this topic, I did not find a proper place guys to find the exact things that they used and how they work and all those things. So that's the reason why I have just given some introduction here. So we can write in our examination for now. Okay. Yes. So initially began immediately after the first mainframe of computer was developed. So basically whenever the computers were developed, so the security of the data is required. So basically if you store your files, your files should be in a secure way, right? Yes. So there are some researches being started from way early 1960s, you can say guys. Okay. So basically the only thing is that, so in the initial days, okay so in initial days so if there is a computer if someone of you can operate or can interact with the computer in a proper way like you know how to operate a computer you can just get into the system and get into data guys because at that time there is no kind of protection or no uh, authorization and all those things right? there's not there are no password concepts and all those things hence the data is free and open the only thing that you need is how to operate the things that's it so initial days if, if initial days if you know just the usage of computer you can get the data as we don't have any methods of security okay so group Developing code breaking computation during the world war two created the first modern computer So basically in world war two and all those things in many places many kind of students or Whoever are good at coding they used to use these systems and they used to get the data and it, it was multiply misused in many times also, right? Yes, so in the 1960s in the first time they an agency started guys. So advanced research Okay agency, so please read that word guys. Okay, so a r p a began the examine the feasibility of a redundant network communication. So basically they started research in developing something to make the system secure. Okay. So finally after in the same 1960s, Larry Roberts developed a, met a method guys that is nothing but A-R-P-A-N-E. Okay. For its inception. So basically he developed it. Okay. So in the 1970s and 80s, so this method which he developed has a grew a lot of popularity guys and the major disadvantage is that whenever something goes popular the major disadvantage will be everyone will be trying to exploit it so basically everyone will try to damage it so basically they need to find they are they will try to find some loopholes and all those things will be coming into play guys so that is the main reason here okay so finally it started misusing so major problem with it is that there is no safety procedure for a dial-up connection. So basically if there is any kind of connection establishment, there is no safety procedure guys. Like checking things like whether it is secured or not, it will be sending data directly in that way. Okay. So non-existing users identification and authentication to the system. So basically users are not having any kind of proper authentication methods guys. So that's also a drawback. Okay. Similarly, in the late 1970s, microprocessors expand computing capacity and security threats. So basically, after some years, they stopped using the previous method and now they moved on to one more standard paper that is nothing but a report that is nothing but information security with RAND RAND report that is nothing but R609. So he is the one who started discovering about this authentication and all those things. Yes. So it in that paper or in the report, he talked about the safety of data and limitations of Unauthorized, unauthorized access of data. So what will be the issues? What will be the things? Everything is discussed in that paper guys. Okay. So in 1970s, the things have been started things. The things have been started because the internet has started guys in that 1990s itself. So internet became the first main. Okay. Of the global network of the system. So in early internet deployment security was uh, treated as a low priority so basically whenever something first comes so initially they will not take that much care with security right yes so in the initial stages it is not having that much security but currently nowadays we are having all the almost all types of security guys because we are having okay so we are having biometric and all the things right so you can uh, even uh, unlock a phone with your face id patterns uh, code fingerprint and all those things we are having like slowly they developed from 2000 to present Okay, so today the use of the internet has became increasingly millions of computers connected in the network. Yes, so it is the most use of a communication source. Okay, so today we follow and need a number of levels of security and all those things. Okay, so even for some kind of logins in some websites, they'll be sending OTPs and all those things. There are multiple things, guys, right? Yes, 
so you can write about them in the present situations okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea on the topic guys so in the next lecture we'll be discussing the concepts of concepts or characteristics of information guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching